What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Project Zomboid. It is time to go to bed, and uh, it's hot, and I'm in pain, and yeah, I get to do some recording tonight, I'm excited. I might pre-record a couple episodes of good old Zomboid, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> oh, I did not, wow, I went to bed at a, a horrendous time. Um, now I'm going to immediately apologize. Oh, I hit Q, I was like, Why? Uh, I'm going to immediately apologize for the AC noise in the background. I can't really do much about it. It's hot outside, and uh, I'm using a... I forgot to, to boot up Adobe Soundboard, so I'm not going to be able to clean up the audio. I mean, I could. Probably not going to, because i got a lot of recording I want to get done tonight. And that's just not going to happen. Um, so, that's just, and that's just what's going to have to happen. You have to deal with that noise in the background. Again, I apologize. I don't want it going on, but uh, it's just one of those. It's just situationally easier for me to do that. Now, uh, I do got a few things I want to work on in this episode. I do want to continue building that wall, maybe finish out that hallway. One of you guys said, zoom in on the, the hammer, but I don't see it there. could have disappeared, to be honest with you. It's very, very possible that it has disappeared. We're also, you also said I could throw my axe in here and throw my watermelon in here. I get slices, and you were correct. So we're going to end up doing that. And throw all the slices in the fridge. That should last us. That should help us last a good long while. So now that we got that done, let's speed up till morning. I want some sunlight before I really do any work. Yeah, you're unhappy. I don't I don't really care that much. I'm not going to lie. Um, we got some building to do. We do have a lot of nails now, so I don't have to worry about that so much. I will want to dodge back into the city um, once I do have this wall set up. Because uh, I want to go look for another sledgehammer. I know there are other ones out there. So we're going to have to... That'll be one of our main situations. Uh, I have a trillo on. I'm going to turn that off. I've been playing a lot of Guild Wars 2. And you know... Maybe I'll just talk about that a little bit because um, it's just... it's Guild Wars 2... Alright, I wasn't sure what to expect from that game. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't sure. I, I mean, I expected a decent game. I didn't. I mean, it's been in development for you know a good number of years at this point. But I did not expect as good of a game as we've gotten. It has. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's got a lot of stumbling blocks. It's definitely not perfect in a lot of areas. It tends to introduce a lot of new gameplay concepts without explaining how they work. It is not your run-of-the-mill MMO. Granted, there are things about Guild Wars 2 that are. Um, very typical MMO fare, even the combat system, as much as they want to tout it being different, it's not that different. Yeah, they introduce some unique stuff to it, and they make it uh, a more unique experience as far as combat goes. But honestly, it's not phenomenally different. It's not, like, crazy, crazy different. And, uh, I swear I heard someone outside my apartment. I, I swear, every time I record, I hear noises outside my apartment. And if this... Oh, it's my cat. Oh, my good God. Hey, get down from there. Get down. You know better. Anyway. So, back to Guild Wars. Um, yeah, as I was saying, it's... Okay, so, it does a lot of stuff that's exciting. It's it's new in, in some sense or another. Um, I expected a good game. I did. And, I, I mean, I'm, I'm honest. I'm, I expected a good game out of it. I wasn't expecting some sort of flop. I am so insanely pleasantly surprised. It's not a revolution to the MMO genre, which I did, I think, say in one of my videos about Guild Wars 2. It is an evolution, for sure, um, but it is no revolution. But it is so good. It's one. Of, it's been a long time, and I think I said this on my Twitter. It's been a very long time since I've... Since I've really enjoyed exploring an MMO's fantasy universe, or an MMO's fantasy world. It's been very long time since that's happened. And I find myself, with Guild Wars 2, constantly exploring the world around. I am constantly looking around, looking at what's around me, what could I find now, what's in this new corner, what's in that corner. And it is such a refreshing experience, because I haven't felt that in a very long time. I felt that with WoW when it first came out, and, and other than that, other MMOs that have kind of given me that feeling, I am not abashed to say The Matrix Online I was a huge avid fan of for a very long time. I played that game pretty hard. 
um, when it came out. Star Wars Galaxies was my first MMO, and I don't think anything will ever recapture the feeling that game gave me, um, as far as a sense of wonder and awe. Um, but it's been a long time since I've actually given a damn about the world around me, and uh, Guild Wars brings that back. I'm right now, th I had to like tear myself away, well, not tear myself away, because what I was actually doing before this was, um, I was watching the Dota 2 International. But I had a serious debate in my mind, do I want to record, or do I want to go play some more Guild Wars? And I need to record. I mean, I, I enjoy recording, there are a few games that I need to, to really get my hands on. Cook chicken. Oh, I apparently took it into my inventory. Um, I have full plans of recording tonight, um, both this and um, some more Dark Souls, so I definitely need to get my hands on Dark Souls, and I want to get that in before... Okay, I don't want to pass out from exhaustion, so we'll, we'll go to sleep now at 1900 hours. Not too bad. Good, we woke up at 7, so that, we kind of fixed our sleep there a little bit. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, I got this, I'm going to record some Dark Souls tonight, and I'm going to end up recording... I'm debating. I'm not sure if I'm going to record my next Indie Corner. I know my next, not Indie Corner, Indie Snapshot. I know my next Indie Snapshot is going to end up being, uh, but I'm not quite sure that I'm going to record it yet. Um, soon, very soon, but not quite yet, I don't think. So now we need to put that in there. Hammer, nails, and the hammer. Three more pieces of wall. Oh, I gotta stop hitting Q. I'm trying to strafe like I'm playing some other game. You can tell I've been playing a lot of, uh, I'm playing a lot of Guild Wars because I'm messing with the controls very, very badly. It's very hard to tell where this is supposed to be going. Oh, God. Alright. This is taking a while. Maybe I'll just hack down the forest over here. It's closer. So outside of Guild Wars 2, um, I've been watching the Dota 2 International because I'm a huge esports fan. For those of you who've been with me for a very, very long time, you know that's how I started my YouTube career was uh, to, to who cast StarCraft, and Dota 2 has quickly become one of my favorite esports in a very long time, just because it is so good. It is so much fun to watch. The International is being so well produced. It's one of the best produced um, esports events that I've ever seen. Um, better than MLG. Uh, probably because they're focusing a lot more. I mean, they're focusing on Dota 2. They're not, they don't have like 17,000 esports going on at once. Um, it's no fault of uh, MLGs, but because they're focusing on just Dota. Okay, I thought I was hitting something. But because they're focusing on Dota 2, it allows for this level of polish that you only see in other sports like baseball or football. The commentators are absolutely phenomenal. The, the stadium they're using is absolutely packed. The crowd is fun, fun, fun to listen to. So if you're at all mildly interested, by the time this goes up, you might have missed it. Or at least it'll be like on the last day, maybe. Um, but it's definitely worth checking out, or following, at least, next time. They, I mean, they hold it once a year. The winner takes home a million dollars. Second and third place take home... Take home, like, a few hundred thousand. You know, just a few hundred thousand. No big deal or anything. Oh, 30. That's awesome. Oh, I'm carrying way more than I should be. So let's try and loosen up here. The weight. Good thing I decided to cut down over here, huh? This might be enough. No, it won't be enough. But we can build from really, really far away because... Because we can. Yeah, sure, it's cheating, but whatever. Really, who's who's keeping track? Cause it sure ain't me, haha, -ha, suckers. Yeah, woo. All right, let's go back to cutting down trees. Not quite sure what that was about. Kind of had a moment of insanity, but when you play Zomboid in its current state, you can't help but go a little insane. All right, let's cut down a bunch of trees. So, what else has been going on in the map this world? A um, lot of indie games. I am looking forward to actually going to be covering some Awesome Knots soon. Um, potentially with some giveaways uh, with Awesome Knots. 
Uh, I've been slowly climbing back towards that 1,000 subscriber mark that I left behind uh, so painfully on my old channel. Um, but we are more than halfway there. It's going to take some time, and I'm getting new people every day. Uh, I'm also debating taking down my videos from my old StarCraft, my old Math of StarCraft channel. Just taking them all down, leaving one video up, and just saying, hey, you know, welcome to the party, but you're a little bit late. If you want to join the party, it's over here. And just doing that, I, th I think that might be a great idea. I really might. I really do think that might be a good idea. Alrighty, we got some steak. Let's eat some steak. Head back out there. You guys said when I get anxious and stuff to take some beta blockers, so I will keep that in mind as well. Don't worry, I do read comments. It just means I probably just forgot what you guys told me to do. I was. There we go. I was like, I know I was hitting it. I heard that clanging noise for a little bit there. I don't want to head to the next cell, and I have a feeling I might soon. Now, the question is, I wonder if the sledgehammer, when I was using it, was actually causing the noise it was supposed to be, and that the, uh, and it wasn't, and the axe is actually doing that, and the reason I say that is because when I went back to my old home, um, last episode, as you all saw, there was no zombies at all, woo. Causing back injury, huh? I I feeling I might end up killing myself doing this, so let's Where's the hacksaw? There there we go. Alright, I can't carry that much wood. It's just gonna end up killing me probably. Which is not something I wanna do. Obviously. Alleviating some of that weight, which is really, really nice. Throw that in there. That in there. That in there. You guys are probably having a freaking heart attack, too. the wall is finished. Now we got four more pieces we can definitely use to help fortify certain areas of the house. Um, make sure no zombies over here. No. So we want to head in here. So that's all blocked off. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to throw um, I feel like I threw a wall up already. I think there is one there actually now that I look. Throw one in front of that window. We just want to come in the side windows. That's it. We want to make sure the side windows is our entrance and our exit. So we're going to board up these windows here. And then we can swing in here. And then this is this is now part of the Mathis Defense Fort. Look at that. Perfect. Good. We can come swinging in here. Um, now, do I only want one entrance? I think so. So we're going to wall this bad boy up. Look at that. Can't even get through. And we have a few spare planks. So we're going to end up using these as well to board up the entrances over here. Yeah, I know. I'm getting tired, but... Good. And we'll go board up a window on this end over here with just one plank for now. Things are starting to look really good as far as our fort goes. So that's good right there. Okay, so the plan is go to sleep. Tomorrow is going to be uh, heading to the city, get a sledgehammer day. So let's see what we got here. Blade, no. Sneaking, sprinting. I wish it was hauling. I really want to haul it. Um, sprinting it'll be. That's fine. Food, it's fine. We're a little... We woke up a little early, which is a little surprising. But uh, that's fine. Nothing we can't can't handle. We're going to keep some carrots on us. And we're going to head out the back door. And we're going to head into the city. Actually, we're going to check our house first. I do want to try and keep tabs on the horde as best as possible. Maybe they're back there. That or they're on their way. Or they're just dispersed. Which is okay with me. 
Um, man, so much carnage. Just one zombie over here. We can definitely handle him. My, I forgot. It's my, uh, I'm not very good with an axe. Come on, big guy. I don't know if I heard a, a bite or not. So I'm going to have to double check. Make sure I didn't get bitten. Sometimes they just don't move when I'm when I'm telling him to. He doesn't sprint when he's supposed to. So let's check our usual where they usually are. No, it looks like they dispersed on their own, guys. Which is good. But as I was saying last time, it kind of worries me a little bit. I don't necessarily like that. Huh. All right, something to think about. That's all. Let's uh, let's head into the city, I guess. Uh, I brought carrots, right? Yeah. I'm in pain. This pain thing is going to me. Take some pills. All right, here's a bunch. Not a big deal. All right, here they are. Here they all are. It's fine. I'm actually, if they're over on this end, this doesn't really bother me that much. It just means I have way more more room to work with than I originally thought. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I am. Alright, so we're going to head back down to the city. Uh, goal is Sledgehammer. We can spend time in the city if we need to for whatever reason. It's going to die. Nope. Yeah, it's going to be way more dangerous now, heading down this area. Oh, shit. Alright, in the house. In the house. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I am 100% cornered right now. I'm cornered. Guys, I'm cornered. Oh my god, I'm cornered. Alright. We're gonna try to let them in. Over here. Then dodge up, down, and through them. Alright, alright! Oh, shit. Shit. Whoa. Dodge, 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 dodge. Get through, we'll worry about the, the bites, everything afterward. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Scratched. That's fine. It's the only thing, right? Very minor injuries. Wow, we got out of there with minor injuries? Holy shit. I thought we were done. Oh my god, I just had a heart attack. I thought it was it. I thought that was the end. Oh my god. Oh. I really just thought I made the biggest mistake of my life, and I, died, I was going to die, and I was going to be so mad. Because it was my own stupidity that killed me. Um. It's not worth going into the city right now, unfortunately. We'll wait. I don't know how I got out of there. I have no idea. We're going to wait this out. I know we're going to get sick and we're going to get panicky. Or we won't. We'll take a bag of chips. We'll take a bunch of bag of chips with us into the city. Stuff that I don't have to worry about going bad. Alright, back to plan A. I don't know how we're going to get down there, though. Without dying, that is. All right. Um, we kind of have to face the horde. Like that's just something we have to do. We have to get by them at the very least. So let's not burn too much stamina right now. Uh, you know, love you guys. But that's gonna take place next episode.
See you then.